Another episode title that I have no idea what it means. Episode 10, Pass Parade Procession of Monsters. The alliteration is on point, though. <laughs> What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with episode 10 um, of Don Machi. Last episode, we met Welf Crozo, learned a little bit about his blacksmithing backstory and his family, and I am excited to know more about him. He seems like a pretty genuinely cool dude, you know, and he's very good at making what he, at doing what he, at doing what he does, which is making and blacksmithing and obvious and all that. Um, we ended up making a Minotaur little dagger, which we named Ushiwakamaru, which is really cool. I can't wait to see that in action. We're about to go into the middle floors, which I'm excited about. It is us. It's uh, Belle, Lily, and Welf, and that's cool. With Hestia as Bestia, and all of our other girls and awesome wa waifus and bays. Remember, guys, if you guys want full length and early access to this show, all the other shows I'm watching, you can always check out that Patreon down below. It is always an option for you. If you guys want uh, to support me and Patreon is not really your thing, if you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment down below. Thank you all so much. Let's hop into this. Uh, Don Machi, episode 10, Past Parade Procession of Monsters. That looks good. That, okay, I wonder why. Salamander wool, interesting. That is true, like like parents would, you know. Uh-oh, I... Two new characters, I was gonna say, they introduce characters like that a lot in anime. But two new characters, I can't wait to see who those are. We have a wolf. Good shit, wolf. Cut the wolf. Flame-breathing wolves. Good support, Lily. Shot right in the eye. I've learned that if something small can survive in such a dangerous area, then there's a reason. And they're terrifying. And these rabbits have axes. Oh, they're talking about Bell. Which would make sense, you know. Coming from people who've seen him and seen eyes, I could see why they'd say that. Rumors would spread, but it's also false. I'm curious who these people are. I'm so curious. He's a god. They are really going through it. These middle floors are kind of crazy. These fucking rabbits! Ooh, good slashing. Her name's Makoto, right? Of the Take Familia. Good, so these are bigger bunnies than I thought, but good shit. Hellhounds. That's a good name for those hellhounds. Ooh, good cuts, well. Ooh, good shit. But then they'll die. That is not cool. Yeah, they feel bad, but they were like, we gotta do what we gotta do. Yeah, I, I see why they feel bad. They're gonna not only keep them surrounded, not help them, but add more hellhounds to their issues. Ooh, good cuts, Bell. Good dodges. That's why it's called Pass Parade. You pass them, and there's a parade of monsters. Makoto feels bad. She might go back. Use some fire bolts. Hell yeah. Oh, especially since his magic's gone up a little bit. Oh, that was a good little wave clear right there. Damn it. The dead end. Oh my god. Oh lord. That is a valid point. That is a very valid point. Then the dungeon gets you. What kind of? Oh no! What else could we be? What? What is going on? Ooh, his leg is facing the wrong direction. 
if there was ever a time Argonaut would be needed, it would be right now. And is this why the sal salamander wrap was needed? What are the middle floors I'm saying? These shits are OP. Whoa. They're like, all right, let's put this up right now. And talk. Okay, they told them. They feel bad. That makes sense. Oh, shit, bro. They're stranded in the dungeons. You want to go back up, but you had to go down. That you serve. Oh, wow. But that's even more dangerous because you got to go up an extra two floor. Yep, I assume Salamander's rap would help with that. Bro, this is low key terrifying. Like, you could really die horrific deaths in this dungeon. What's the 18th? Several safe zones. I was gonna say, like, and this also reminds me of Persona 5. You're going down to the, I forget what that's called, the subway area, you know? Either risk going up, what, 15 floors or going down like three? It is a very, there's a floor boss. Oh, right before the safe zone? Of course. The Goliath. This is such a video game, bro. I love it. What does it take? Like a, a day to respawn? 48 hours? If it's Genshin Impact, it'd take like a week. <laughs> Fuck it, we're going down. 18, let's do it. Hephaestus is there. Miyak is there. That's the least they could do, you know. Let's go back and get our boy. Let's go back, our, our boys and girl. Hermes. Who are we sending? Hermes. Hermes. You guys want to help me with the pronunciations? I'd really appreciate that of all the gods. He has ulterior motives, obviously, but. All right, I guess we get to see what Aspie gets to do. She is uh, one of the heads of the Hermes family, so, you know, it'll be very interesting. Hermes. I was about to say, I thought that wasn't. I thought they were supposed to live normal lives. Jesus, they descended using wealth's uh, sword? That's so smart. Oh, she can feel that. That would make sense. It's kind of like the force for them, you know? They can feel the blessing still out there. <laughs> oh, that would make sense why Hephaestus is there. They even have red hair. But, of course, Blacksmith, a part of the Hephaestus family, makes so much sense. Did uh, Ryu used to be a part of the Hermes family as well? I'm learning so much, man. Makes a lot of sense about wealth, though. It's like a Pokemon using Repel. <laughs> Makes sense. Burn. Dark Magics. Will-O-Wisp. Oh, we're straight out of Pokemon with that. Dark Magic. That was fucking amazing. We're back to this beautiful goddess herself. She's she's not too happy with Hermes uh, messing with some shit. 
It's another Minotaur. Shit. Use the Minotaur dagger, Ushiwakamaru. He's just disgusting. I mean, it makes sense because we're almost to floor 18. I know that's our goal, but like to have this many Minotaurs is insane. Argonaut. That is pretty damn strong, man. He really looks like oh fuck. <laughs> Look at that fucking. Man's a straight savage. Oh, again, man, another fantastic episode. Has to be Seer. Or Ryu, I mean. Oh my god. My god, is she hot. That's my girl. Yes, she is. And I know, I know how strong she is. Woo. Let's go. Look at this squad. Oh my god. Another fantastic episode. It's, I love the video game like references. They're safe, they're safe levels as well, safe floors. And right after a world boss, which would make sense, you know? And when you get to those safe levels, that's when you can like that's when you like you hit your new check mark you're like oh okay that's your new furthest spot or you either have a, a fast exit to go out or you can keep going floor by floor you know every time <laughs> it's just i love it but i love the predicament we're in how we got fucked over by mikoto and uka i'm pretty sure his name is of the take familia but they felt so bad that they told take who told hestia because they're good friends with hestia and then obviously because they feel so bad they're gonna work together to bring them back I love uh, Hermes and I can't wait to see his involvement and in, in stuff only because Freya does not like how involved he is. She's just trying to have her entertainment. But with that, with Asfi and then uh, fucking Ryu coming in to save the day, I am just so excited. I am just so excited that uh, the Argonaut ability is just awesome. Us fighting these Minotaurs was amazing. The action, Wealth using his Will-O-Wisp was amazing. Uh, seeing the Ushiwakamaru in action, killing that Minotaur, just slice, slice, slish, slash, taking a bath. You know what I'm saying? That's fucking dope. I don't know. Man, this show is just, uh, it's going above my expectations. I was expecting another Konosuba, which I would have been completely A-OK -okay with. I love Konosuba to death. This is just so different, but it's such like a video game that I just love it. I don't know. Thank you, Dapper Squad. I will catch you guys in the next one. On to the next. Peace out, y'all.